Christian with Resale Brothers here. Uh, I was walking around the warehouse and saw we had quite a few suits uh, laying around, suits and blazers. Uh, and I figured I'd do a video on just some of the materials and styles to be on the lookout for. It's kind of a uh, under service category uh, for most resellers. They don't like messing with them because of the measurements and uh, just having to fool with uh, getting the sizing and everything right because a lot of times they're tailored. Um, but I just want to do this video to do a quick run through of the stuff we had laying around. Uh, this isn't necessarily the best possible stuff you can buy, but it's uh, some of the stuff that we've bought with our 10,000 item store. Uh, so let's start off here. I don't know what this is. Okay, this is, um, let's see here. I'll hold it up. This is a um, Hickey Freeman. Hickey, oh, Tony's cleaning up over here. I saw a little bit of dirt. Anyway, uh, this is a Hickey Freeman. Um, it is a, it feels like wool. Um, Hickey Freeman is a pretty good brand. Uh, you see it in a decent size. If it's not like a tiny size, it's more like an older gentleman wearing it. So if you see Hickey Freeman and it's a wool, decent material blend, should go for around 50 bucks, I'd say. Uh, if you can get it for five, 10 bucks, it's a good pickup. Decent sell-through rate too. A lot of times when you look up the sell-through rates on suits, they look uh, kind of bad, but if you sell them cheap, people will ask like $150 for it. Just because it costs $500 new doesn't mean you can sell it for $150 used. And a lot of times that is a huge factor in the sell-through rate on these suits and blazers. So I'll throw that up. Um, as you can see, Tony's wearing a suit. It's a little wrinkled, but it looks okay. It looks like a Ralph Lauren. Is that that Ralph Lauren one? Yeah, that's a vintage Ralph Lauren. It's made in Italy. As you can see, um, as you can't see that it's made in Italy, but as you can see, it fits Tony decently well. Um, it's made out of virgin wool. It's always better when it's virgin wool. Um, no, not not like not. <laughs> virgin wool is more expensive than regular wool. So what? Because it's clean. It's, it's untouched. It's clean. Yeah, it's clean, untouched. Anyway, uh, pure. These, these vintage made in Italy. Made in Italy makes a huge difference on the price. It takes it from forty to sixty to probably sixty to one hundred dollars. So that's a uh, Polo Raffaren vintage, 100% uh, virgin wool. Um, okay, moving on. moving on out of the frame. Um, this is a, can't see it, I'm looking at it. <laughs> this is a, a J. Crew. I believe it's got a style name. Okay, this is a new tags J. Crew Ludlow. Uh, the size is a 38R, so kind of a small size, but it's a newer style. Uh, pretty much all the J. Crew Ludlow stuff's gonna be good. Uh, if you get it for, I'd say, 10 bucks. If you can get it new for 10 bucks, that's good. If you can get it used for 10 bucks, you can probably still sell it for 40. Uh, new, this thing will probably go for a little over 100 bucks, 100 bucks. But uh, used, probably expect to get 40 to 60 dollars on the J. Crew. J. Crew men's uh, blazers and women's blazers perform very well, especially with the style name. So, something to look out for there. Next, and this is just stuff we had laying around. Uh, most of our suits are listed and they're pretty good. Uh, this came, this came with pants. I'll put that together later. This is an actual full suit. Those are just blazers. Um, this is a, why don't you see it? I'm not sure exactly what it is. Let's take a peep. Vitaly Barbers. <laughs> oh, it's a Birch Brothers. Okay. This is a uh, Birch Brothers blazer. Actually, it's a full uh, suit and it's made out of 100% wool. So Birch Brothers suits, if you can get a full suit in a modern style, they're pretty good. The sell through rate on them is always decent. And, um, like I said, full suits are always better. Uh, the pants go with it and match it. People have to scour the internet to try to find a matching pair. But, uh, Brush Brothers suits are always good. They sell between, depending on the style, they can sell for $100. They can sell for $50. This is probably more towards the $50 range, but another good brand to be on the lookout for. Uh, when you have the pants, it's called a two-piece suit. Yes. Two if piece. you have a vest three with piece. it, it's a three-piece. Correct. That's all I wanted to say. He's, he's trolling me while I'm into this. <laughs> okay, next, this is a nice little, what pattern would you call this, Tony? Window pane. A nice window pane pattern. Um, this is a, a Brooks Brothers, and it's a Brooks Cool. So you see Brooks Cool here. Uh, that makes a little bit of a difference. It's more of a modern style. Um, the modern stuff seems to sell quicker. This is a uh, Fitzgerald. Um, it is a full canvas. So I'm assuming this is made out of some type of wool blend based off how it feels. Let's check the material. Okay, if I can find it. 
Yes, it is made out of a wool blend. So it's 80% wool, 20% uh, polyester, I believe is what I saw. And it's another Brooks Brothers. Uh, Brooks Brothers is a really good seller for us in the suit and separates and blazers and dress shirts category. Uh, even their pants are pretty good. If you can get them for a decent price, I'd almost always pick them up. The sell-through great. The sell-through rate might not be amazing when you look it up, but if you sell it for the right price, it will move quickly. Okay, let's see here. Moving along. This is oh, this is another Ralph Lauren. Well, this is a Ralph Lauren. Um, it feels like it's so it's made in Canada, not made in Italy. It's got these cool. Um, buttons on it. Um, it looks like, okay, this is a wool, silk, and linen blend. Anytime you see those three materials together in a suit and it's got a decent brand name, pick it up. Uh, the silk suits are really good in the, or blazers are really good in the summertime. Linen as well. So be on the lookout for a silk, wool, and linen blends and brands like Ralph Lauren. This will probably go between $50 and $70. Okay. Down. Uh, now we have another Brooks Brothers. This is a, uh, I'm sure it has a name to it. Oh, this is a Brooks Brothers stretch. The stretch, the stretch, uh, stretch uh, separates are good as well. Uh, the blazers are always good when they're stretched. It normally makes it uh, sell quicker. I don't know, it doesn't normally give it more value, but it normally sells quicker when it's in the stretch style, especially in larger sizes. So be on the lookout for stretch material and good name brands like Burks Brothers, Ralph Lauren, um, obviously the high-end stuff, Armani, uh, Keton, stuff like that. I believe this is an Ar Armani. Uh, I think this is an Armani by looking at it. Neiman Marcus. Yeah, this is a, uh, I don't know if you can see that. A uh, Giorgio Armani. Uh, this brand looks horrible when you look it up, but that's because People are always asking a ridiculous amount of money for them. Um, if you can buy it and sit on it, you can probably get 50 bucks out of it. Um, you would think it would be more, but if it's not, if there's nothing crazy special about it, you're not going to get a ton of money out of it. But this is a, a Giorgio Armani made in Italy, um, made by Neiman Marcus or for Neiman Marcus. And it's, uh, I think it's, it smells like wool. Almost all of these suits are made out of wool. I don't see the material tag. I'm assuming it's wool based on how it feels. So Armani, I'd pick it up if you don't have to pay up for it. A lot of stores charge up, but uh, Armani's another good one. Next is a uh, Brooks, another Brooks Brothers. This is Inside Out. I'm going to go ahead and leave it Inside Out and roll through this quickly. Um, I picked this one because it's made out of lamb's wool. It's a thicker wool. In the wintertime, lamb's wool sells uh, even better than the other types of wool. Hang that maybe up. Okay, moving on. We have a uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren corduroy. Uh, corduroy is very in right now. Um, anything corduroy, pants, shirts, blazers, they're all gonna sell. So uh, you see a Ralph Lauren or pretty much any brand corduroy and a top mall brand, it's gonna be good. And this, the price is new, it'll probably go from 50 to 100 bucks. Probably, I think we've had it for a while, maybe it's in the 18,000, yeah, we've had this for a while. Um, probably 50 bucks will move it quickly. Okay, this I believe feels like camel hair. Camel hair is one of the best selling fabrics as far as sell through rate on all of eBay. Give it a look. Uh, just Google camel hair, not Google, type it into eBay uh, camel hair blazer and you'll see that the sell through rate on them is uh, normally pretty close to 100%. Uh, this is a Lauren Ralph Lauren. Let's see if I'm right. Ah, 100% camel hair. So this is a Lauren Ralph Lauren 100% camel hair. Um, it looks to be kind of a little bit of an older style, but the camel hair is giving it some value. Uh, expect to get between 40 and 60 bucks out of this. Maybe moving on. Oh, my wife's calling me. We'll silence her. Sorry, honey. <laughs> this is another camel hair. This is a pretty much no name brand. It's a, well, it's not a terrible brand. Joseph and Lehman. Um, but it's 100% camel hair, and this is very, very good condition. Uh, you could probably expect to get like 40 bucks out of this. Um, like I said, camel hair is a great material. If you see anything that's in good shape in camel hair, I would pick it up. All right, moving on. Is this another camel hair? Oh, this is an L.L. Bean. 
So this is an LL Bean. Um, let's see if I can pull it out. Okay, yeah, LL Bean. It is a, a cashmere wool blend. Anything with cashmere, obviously, is going to increase the value. Um, this cashmere, I think it's got another material too. Let's see, cashmere. Nope, just wool. And, oh, wool and cashmere. Yep. So this is just wool and cashmere. LL Bean's normally like an outdoors brand, but um, they do sell stuff like suits and blazers as well. And they normally perform uh, relatively well. I'm assuming we'll get around 50 bucks for this as well. Okay. This is another Joseph and Lehman, I believe. Yeah, we got Joseph and Lehman. Um, this is kind of a cool color, kind of like an olive green color. Um, I kind of like the style as well. Uh, it's very uh, unique in color and style. Um, it's a three button blazer. That's also a factor. You want to look at the button count. Three buttons are good. Two buttons are good. Um, and it's 100% cashmere. Anything that's 100% cashmere is going to add value. Um, people ask, sometimes they ask too much money for them. Um, I would probably price this at 40 bucks just to move it quickly. But if you pay five, 10 bucks for it, $40 um, for something that has a high value, uh, this probably costs four or 500 bucks new, um, is always going to be a win in my book. So uh, that's all I had laying around. I have some more over there that aren't real notable. Some bigger size chap stuff um, can be good. And you'd be surprised, some chap stuff is good. If it's like a 54R or anything bigger than that, um, size is always a great factor. Are you trying to get in here? So what? Style, fabric, material. What are you talking about? Suits. Oh. What? What? What are the important factors? You want style. You want a good fabric material. That's also very important. Um, Brand names always good. I would say weird patterns like the window pane and certain other ones. That's the main one I can think of right now. Um, it helps if you have the matching pants. Some of them are hard to. I feel like I'm right on. Okay. You're anyway, I feel like it, sometimes uh, if you don't have the matching pants, it's hard to sell. But like if it's pinstripe and you ain't got pinstripe pants, nobody's going to wear a pinstripe sport coat blazer without the pinstripe pants. And that's another one. You can also use sport coat in the title as well. Uh, it's just a kind of keyword that you can use to help out. Right. Um, also, a big one that I didn't hear him talk. I was over there listening. Uh, Laura Piana is always a good fabric material. Fabric material. Uh, anytime you see that in there, if it's a weird brand or if it's a certain brand like uh, Brooks Brothers, but then it has Laura Piana wool, that's going to help it out. It's going to make it more valuable. I'll uh, go through. I'm going to go through and show you guys some of the stuff we've sold. Like I said, this is stuff we had laying around. The really good stuff has already sold, so I'll go back in on my computer and give you guys like a live time feed of the stuff that has actually sold, like certain fabric, like uh, what's it called, Dondo or Dondi, something like that. There's there's certain type of knits and uh, patterns that are obviously more expensive than others. So I'll go ahead and do Bacuna. it. Bacuna. 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 Bacuna is another one. Uh, there are other brands that are obscure, like Keton and uh, Laura Piana, if you can ever find one. Um, but uh, that's all I'm going to do for this video. I just wanted to run through some of the stuff that we had over here. And I'll see you when I go into my computer and start going through a little of the sales that we've actually had in the suit and separate category. I won't be there. He won't. Be. All right. These are some uh, suits that we've sold recently that I didn't have in inventory. Uh, just some brands I wanted you guys to look out for. Uh, this is Bonobos. They sell a lot of pants and uh, shirts and stuff like that. But um, they also sell suit blazers and uh, suits. So if you see a Bonobo suit, uh, look it up, because this one sold for $79.80, and they sell pretty consistently around that price range. Uh, next, we have a uh, Hart Schaffner Marks two-piece suit. Uh, this, is, this has the benefit of being new with tags, so that adds quite a bit of value there, but this would still be a $100 suit if it wasn't new with tags. This sold for, and this is what the uh, label looks like, this sold for $285. Uh, great sale, took probably two months to sell, but we only paid like 10 bucks for it and it sold for 285. So be on the lookout for this brand. Uh, the size was a 44 short. So also keep that in mind. Um, and it was a brown tuxedo. Uh, next we have a Keton Herringbone uh, Bacuna Cashmere Blend uh, Blazer. Keton's a really, really good brand. This is what it looks like. Uh, let me see if I can pull this up a little closer. 
Okay, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's got a piton with a little uh, red dot. Uh, that sticks out more than anything if you're in the store and you see the, they have pants as well and dress shirts and all kinds of uh, dress clothes. Um, great brand. Uh, this also has the benefit of being the Vicuña, which is the most expensive fabric in the world. So obviously that's going to add a lot of value uh, just with that factor alone. Anything with Vicuña is going to be really good. But it's also got um, herringbone, which is a great pattern to have on a blazer as well. And this one sold for, um, it didn't sell for $8.55. It sold, I forget exactly how much, maybe six something, $600. So great sale there. Uh, paid $20 for it. So if you see, most people don't even know what Keton is. It's a, I think it's an Italian company, possibly. Um, don't quote me on that. Made in Italy, so it makes sense, right? Um, but if you see anything Keton, look it up because it's probably going to be a great find. Uh, next, we have a Donald J. Trump suit. I want to throw this in there because I think it's kind of weird. It's worth so much money. Uh, you would think it's not worth that much because his clothes really aren't that expensive. But uh, since they don't make them anymore, I guess the value has gone up. Uh, not sure how the, uh, uh, the supply is down, but I'm not sure how the demand is. Uh, but it sold for $113, so I guess it's got to be pretty good. Uh, this was in great condition as well. Uh, just another... I don't know if I would have bought it in bad condition just because it's kind of taking a risk. It took a while to sell. I think it took four months to sell. 100% wool made in Mexico. Um, it felt really nice in the store, so that's another factor. You can kind of tell when a suit is made well. So it is a very well-made suit. But um, yeah, Donald J. Trump. They make ties as well, and the ties are okay. Okay, next we have a, a J. Crew Thompson olive green color blazer. This is a new tags. It's also a herringbone as well, which is uh, going to be a great pattern to have. If I can zoom in and you can see it. Yeah, see this pattern here? That's a herringbone pattern. Um, this was a weird size. 34 short, so a horrible size, but uh, still sold for $100. Next, we have a Faraday uh, blazer. Faraday is a fantastic brand in pretty much anything you can find in, especially these knit blazers. Uh, this sold for $152, and it sold very, very quickly uh, for, I think it was an offer to Watcher. Now we have another, We oh, this is the first Brooks Brothers. This is a uh, Brooks Brothers. I know we did some other Brooks Brothers in the previous video I did. Uh, this is a wool Dondi jersey knitted coat. Um, the Dondi jersey, Do Dondi jersey is um, a specific kind of fabric. It's kind of like a knit woven fabric that's... Uh, it's kind of heavy and kind of light at the same time. It's really odd. It feels weird, but it definitely stands out. And it does make the item sell a lot faster and it sells for uh, quite a bit more money. So if you ever see that fabric in anything, uh, pick it up. This one sold for $114 in about a week. Uh, next, we have a J. Crew uh, Laurel Piana wool. I wanted to pull this one up so I could show you guys what the Laurel Piana uh, label looks like. This is kind of what it looks like here. And this is a wool label, but sometimes they'll be made out of cashmere. And cashmere is obviously going to be way better. So if you see a Laurel Piana cashmere, anything, snatch it up. That's going to add a ton of value. Uh, but this one's sold. It's also the Ludlow Slim Fit, which is a good style for a J. Crew blazer. Um, this sold for $142, and it sold relatively quickly, uh, around a month for this one to sell. Next, we have a Peter Millar. Um, this is a, a window pane plaid kind of a pattern. Uh, I thought it was really cool looking, really stood out of the store. Uh, Peter Millar is a great brand to pick up in golf polos, pants, um, pretty much any type of athletic performance material. They, have, they even have high-end materials like silk cashmere and all of that. So I'm sure most of you guys know what um, Peter Millar is, but this is a Peter Millar blazer. We don't see those too often. This one sold for $80.75. And last but not least, we have a Brooks Brothers uh, blazer. This is a corduroy, uh, kind of an older style. Um, but uh, even the old Brooks Brothers stuff sells. It, this is a size 50R, so it's a great big size. And it's got this nice, thick, uh, chunky looking corduroy pattern. So uh, corduroy blazers in pretty much any style are in right now. Um, Ralph Lauren, Brooks Brothers, um, even Hugo Boss, any, Hugo Boss anything. That's a main uh, mall brand uh, with a corduroy uh, fabric pattern or whatever. It is going to be uh, something you should definitely look up. Uh, that's all I have pulled up right now. Uh, we sell a lot of uh, 
men's dress clothes, suits, blazers. It's a, a pretty underserved category. A lot of people are looking for that kind of stuff. Um, you have to take more measurements, but uh, if you take the time to take the measurements, you will get way more bang for your buck. You can pay five, ten dollars and sell stuff for between fifty and a hundred dollars uh, most of the time. Those are the price ranges I'm looking at uh, personally. But if you guys uh, have anything you want to add, or if you see anything that I missed uh, talking about these things that I have pulled up now, uh, let me know in the comment. But for now, that's all I have for this video. Um, see you guys next time.